Hey there everybody in the FFBE Global Facebook group and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask an Old Mog where we try and take some questions that I get in the Facebook uh, group and try and answer them in a visual way so that you can try to learn like mechanics and how things work in the game to try and learn to play um, maybe in a more efficient way or a way that um, helps you like kind of complete challenges and things like that. This week, I don't have a question from the Facebook group. Um, things have been a little quiet lately. Um, so that's actually kind of a good thing. I think people are like kind of like, you know, just kind of enjoying the game and doing well with it. Um, but I am going to go ahead and address a question that came up in a YouTube comment um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and so with no without further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive straight into that question. All right, a question came up on a video uh, not too long ago, something like this. Um, can you explain the difference between chainers and finishers? Um, so we talk a little bit about that, like in videos like, you know, oh, this unit is a chainer, or, oh, this unit's a finisher. Um, and here's the catch. Um, there is no official designation in the game that makes somebody either a chainer or a finisher. Um, some units are just straight up designed to do one, the other, um, or sometimes both, depending on how they're built. Um, but we still need to know like who does what, how, you know, how a unit is built to kind of like learn how to work a team together. That's going to help you do, um, a lot of damage. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, what we call chainers and finishers. A chainer is a unit who has skills, um, that have multiple hits that have the same animation or frames as other units with similar skills. Often they have like um, a little logo and I'll show you what that looks like on the skill, allowing for a series of those hits to chain together, allowing successive hits to do more damage. And we've shown this in, in a previous video um, about chaining. I'm going to pop up a link for that right here um, so you can see it. Um, how like the, the chain thing builds in the middle of combat. You can see how you're doing more damage. Here's the catch. Multiple hits. Um, doing hits that have elements on them and some abilities you can equip on your units allow this chain modifier to build faster Allowing you to get more damage from each hit as you have maxed out the you know the chain cap um, Chain cap is a, a term that is a term that's kind of thrown around a lot um, And that's a very different thing from chain speed, but they work together to help you do more damage very quickly um, So that's chainers chainers are gonna be you know characters that do hits together with other units to help the chain modifier build up. Okay, a finisher is a unit um, but that is built with an attack um, that is often a single powerful hit, but sometimes multiple hits that often land at the end of the chain, thus finishing the chain or capping the chain. Um, and the modifier that you get from the chain cap, or the, it, it's gonna go between 400% and 600% depending on your gear and innate abilities. Usually when you're dealing with damage dealers, you want to max this chain cap up um, all the way up to 600. People throw around the term 6x cap. This is what we're talking about. Allowing for your finisher to do tremendous, you know, powerful hits. Um, and so I'm going to give you a couple examples of chainers and finishers. All right. Um, the, the examples that I have on my screen actually... Um, uh, units like Beach Blaster Olive with her SLB, they do they are chainers. Okay, so uh, the an, another example of a good chainer um, would be um, the new Blade of Vengeance Ibarra. Her base form limit burst is a chain. It does not have a um, it, it just does you know a number of hits that are all the same a same damage for every hit. Okay, um, so there you have it. They're just chaining. They're just doing damage that. that lines up with certain frames so that you can make multiple hit chains okay finishers are examples like dark rain legendary hero sephiroth um black mage golbez they are they are finishers now rain's a good example of a single hit finisher golbez is an example of a multi-hit finisher because his meteor hits three times um there you go so we got chainers we got finishers but there is another category and that is self-capping chainers Self-capping chainers are units whose damage skill has multiple hits that chain with other units and sometimes themselves in the case of tag team chainers. And they have a hit built in at the end of their chain that has a high modifier damage to it. Um, you know, so like basically they, they line up with somebody else and then the last hit of the chain is this like massive hit that's just part of their skill. Um, which is a really neat way to put, you know, two units together and have a chain and a finisher in the same, the same you know, the same two person chain. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give you some examples of those units. Um, 
cheerful caroler Ayaka, her um, her Magnus skill finale um, is a chain. It is a four times X or a four times bolting strike chain, and the final hit is a big massive hit. Um, but she does not she does not self chain with anybody else or with with herself. She she has to have somebody chaining bolting strike with her. Um, so some other examples of self capping units are um, units like Neo Visions 2B and Samurai Chizuru. So I'm, I'm going to show you um, how you can kind of see this in, in the game. So um, I'm going to pull up my units here. We're going to go to so th this team that I have here. So um, I said before um, that um, Olive, you know, Beach Blaster Olive here, is a, is a, is a chainer with her SLB. I'm going to slide over to her SLB, Watermelon Whammy. And we can see that it is 30 hits, right? They're all doing the same damage. There's not like a single big hit at the end. Otherwise, it would say 29 and then one hit at the end that was bigger, right? We don't have that. Um, we just get uh, we just get these 30 hit chain. It's an extreme Nova chain. So um, the chain family is extreme Nova. Anything that is also extreme Nova will chain with this 30 hits, okay? But notice that there's not like an extra hit at the end, okay? Here's another one, Dark Rain. His SLB is a single enemy one hit attack, and it's you know fairly significant, fairly large, tyrannical force. Um, and there you go. So it's just one hit finisher. Um, compare that to Golbez with his meteor, right? It is three hits, three hit finisher. Um, I don't have Sephir on the, on this team, but it's the same thing. It's like one big hit um, that you would put at the end of a chain, okay? The other categories that I mentioned, Ayaka is a self-capping unit. So we're gonna go to her special abilities, go to her finale skill, and notice it's 35 hits, right? That are all this modifier, and then one hit that is this much bigger modifier. Um, so you're gonna put you're gonna put her together with a bolting strike chain, or she can get a 36 hit chain, right? And her final hit, or her finale, is going to be very, very big. Right, so uh, much bigger modifier than than that one. You can see the difference. Now that is bolting strike. You can see this is the little chain emblem I was talking about. It's bolting strike chaining. So BS stands for bolting strike. Um, she's also got um, another example of, of chaining would be, um, you know, chaos wave, flood. Um, you know. This should be a chain as well. Although it's not showing it. Okay. Chaos Wave Awakened. Right, so we've got lots of abilities that they have the little chain emblems. Anything that has this same same emblem on it, BS, CWA, whatever, it's gonna chain with this skill and allow you to create a nice little chain, all right? But the other category that we mentioned was the self-capping units. And here's what we're talking about. Um, Samurai Chizuru's Dual Blade Phantom Shadow. It is a um, 29 hit with one big hit at the end. So it's a self-capping chain. Um, and it also happens to be tag team attack for five turns. So it, it grants tag team attack to specific abilities, including dual blade phantom shadow. So it becomes a tag team attack um, as well as all these other abilities then become tag team chaining. So they, they, they chain them with themselves. She doesn't have to have a partner. She can just chain with these. But if you do happen to have a partner that does bolting strike chaining, uh, it'll be just fine. She will be able to chain with them very well. Um, or even this one, right? It's 27 hits. That's Bolting Strike. So she's going to chain Bolting Strike. And if she's already used her LB, it's going to be a tag team chain. And you get more hits with the Bolting Strike chain that's chaining with her. It's a good thing, right? Very, very good thing. So lots of ways to kind of put teams together. Now, I said that some units have like a little bit of both. So Olive, for example, um, her her base form limit burst, right, or her not, or just a regular limit burst, not her SLB, is a one hit finisher. Um, also, her special ability dual summer shot, it's a two hit finisher. So you've got she's got she's got capping capability and chaining capability in the same unit. Same with Dark Rain, right? He's got chaining skills, bolting strike, um, but then also his um, blazing dominion and um, Tyrannical Force are one-hit finishers. So he's got finishing capability and chaining capability. Golbez is the same way. 
Um, Se even Sephiroth is the same way. Sephiroth has some chaining skills and some finishing skills, but often units that have finisher skills, their main damage is their finisher skill. Like they can use chains for utility and like chain score missions and things like that, but they really want to use their big finishers. Um, but that's where units like, um, you know, Chizuru, who does the tag team chain, and Ayaka, who does the self capping um, chain with a good partner, um, they can allow, they can kind of save you a slot because they're your finisher and your chainer in the same unit and the same, um, and you can, you can kind of like build teams a little bit better. So this, this combination that I have right here, you know, theoretically, um, we could uh, build a chain on, a, on with, with Olive's SLB and Chizuru's tag team chaining of capability. And because it's tag team chaining, Ayaka could probably weave into it pretty well. And then Golbez and Dark Rain could drop their finishing skills um, and, you know, theoretically get a nice big uh, chunk of damage with Golbez, um, Ayaka, Chizuru, and Dark Rain all finishing at the same time, and Olive just kind of support chaining. So there you go. Chainers, finishers. Uh, chainers are going to be um, just doing things that allow the chain to build. And finisher is going to be landing a big, a big final hit at the end of that successive chain that um, has a large modifier on it, um, and we'll also get the full benefit of the full boosted chain cap. So make sure you take a look at the chaining video that I linked earlier. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how chaining works or how to do that well, there's some tips and tricks about how to get 100 hit chains in that video. Um, so definitely check that one out if you're if you're struggling with like how chaining works. Um, there's, I've also got a video about. Um, chain speed versus chain cap up if you're interested in something like that um, that kind of goes over you know when you want each one um, usually you want both if you can work it into your build but not every unit can can factor that in um, but there you go so if you've got a question that you want to see us talk about in next week's video be sure to let me know in the comments either on facebook um, or in the community chat um, or um, you know comments here on youtube because i do do pull information from there as well um, when when we uh, when we need to or when something good comes up, I like to like to address it. Um, until then, be good to each other, take care, and we'll see you in the next video, um, which should be after the live stream um, on Sunday night. So you take care, guys.